I want to talk a little bit more about so the challenges demonstrating um, CMC comparability during late stage product development. So you're talking, you know, pivotal or phase three clinical trial and transitioning to commercial manufacturing. So what are those challenges, would you say, like I said, demonstrating the CMC comparability? So I, I think that, you know, one of the things that was mentioned actually earlier here, um, the development of a potency assay, I think that um, I, I want to just sort of touch on that a bit. I think the earlier in product development that you can develop a potency assay, I do think um, that the, the better. I think that in terms of comparability, what we, we sometimes see, which I think this question is alluding to, is the product that's used in development, there then is a shift um, in terms of some pieces of the manufacturing uh, that, that vary uh, from the, the product used in development to the commercial product that is proposed. And so I do think that some of the challenges that we see are not considering this early enough in the product development, such that we're now in a place where we don't have assays in place or, um, or other pieces to, to truly get to comparability. So I would just encourage sponsors to think through some of these uh, ch potential challenges early on and, um, and plan for that as much as, as, as you can so that we aren't in a space where we're trying to just make sure that the, the clinical data that was collected on you know, one form of the product is applicable to what we're wanting to do in the commercial setting. But I, I agree it's a challenge. I think it's something, again, where communication is key because the more we can talk about the individual circumstances, we can you know, get to some resolution here.